welcome to be physically here in the studio with me. So, I appreciate y'all, man. We about to get back to this Out the Woodwork radio. Appreciate you, man. Yep. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to talk to y'all soon. I hate that it took her so long to get out that contract that she had. Man. That that hurt her, man. Check this out, bro. Now, hold on, hold on. Let me let you know we live, so I don't want you saying. Oh, with the that. Yeah, I don't want you saying too. You know, something that you know that could help her. Uh, you know, her political stuff. But yeah, but now. I put like, look, I know, I know, uh, I know, uh, one of the guys who was from the label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they were, they were, they were, uh, that lawyer was, lawyer was sending out cease and desist. Like, like, I got an email yeah. saying, like, you need to take this down off, whatever. Wow. I got a hold of my guy. I was like, yo, what's this about? And he was like, ah, oh, damn, they sent that to you? And I just told him, like, yo, I was like, the numbers is, she's bringing in? Yeah, it's nuts. I do. That everybody else record. That was taking yeah. down every, man. Before, this, this auto back page was from my app. My, yeah. From my mobile app. I had a regular one. Yeah. And that regular one before it got taken down, uh -huh. automatic take it. Where, where? Right. Had over a million streams on wow. that video. Had over 500,000 downloads of the record. When you automatically allow oh, that's downloads. nuts. Yeah, wow. that's nuts. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, yeah, she been, she been, like, she's always had, like, uh, that summer, that yeah. summer alone, I had 7,000 registered emails. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. What's up, y'all? Um, you know, we here uh, out of the Woodworks Radio. Um, yeah, my guy Adam. So, you know, just advertising for the book and, you know, just all the other future stuff. So, we're doing PR work, man. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You got a product, like, such as music, but we got a product. Yeah. Books, man. So, you got to get out here. You got to advertise, man. It's working. So, and oh, if, if anybody needs any help getting their stuff together, out the woodwork radio, we back. That was just cash down, doing too much. Offer new, uh, Album stacked, but I got my man Pancho Rucker in the building. Art author extraordinaire, <laughs> you two best selling author. Mm. Let me let me not downplay this. <laughs> this is crazy to see. You know what's crazy because I already know that's gonna happen because it happens to me. You know, I try to do my best not to get into the ego thing like this. I'm Midwest Mixed. Right, right, right. But I have people just, you know, oh, yeah, what's up, Adam? You know, I'm just trying to leave. Like, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's cool. But come on, man. You know damn well I got the largest site for Midwest Mixed. <laughs> playing with me, man. Really? But, so, but yeah, you're a best-selling author. Yeah, yeah. Man, tell us about these books, bro, before we get to pulling them up, though. Okay. So, tell us how, how you decided to get into writing books. Um, really, I, I wanted to do it a while ago, but um, me having my my daughter was the main thing that decided like I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And then I wound up actually um having a a uh, stroke in 2018, and so it was oh, like wow. yeah, 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 so it was a whole you crazy young, thing. Player. Yeah, I like I I drove myself to the hospital. Like oh, yeah, that's how crazy everything was. So. When I was in the hospital, I was like, you know, for the, the three, four days or whatever, I was like, yo, if, if if I'm out and everything is working okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do everything that I decided, though I said I was going to do a while ago. So when I got out, you know, I, I put, you know, um, feet to the pavement and, and really made myself do the work, you know, and then it turned out, you know, Clean Up BB um, was the first book for my daughter and it wound up, um, you really, yeah, making it on the bestseller of early education list on um, um, the Amazon Prime or Amazon list. You know what I'm saying? So that was a huge, huge thing for me. And then I started just running with the other books, like uh, with the chin up, chest out, see that BB, and you know, and it's it's been working. It's Man, been working. I didn't even notice that. Let me see those. Right? I'm gonna, yeah, check out this. I'm a I'm a, I'm a person who's in titles. Clean up BB. Now this, yeah, chin up, this, chest out. <laughs> this, this right there, man. This uh -huh. like, 
I'm a, I haven't read it, but uh-huh. I'm a guess. Is this some? Is this, what, what's this about? It's about standing up to bullies and stuff like what? that. Kinda. It's like okay. So judging a book by the cover. That's what I'm doing. It, but I, I like no, the no, title. No, I love the title. It's, it's it is walk with um, chest out. It is walk with confidence. It definitely is that. It's one of those things of uh, I wanted to make a book for um, my daughter's brother, which is my stepson. It's like it's a thing of. I want you to be able to understand that regardless of the stereotypical nonsense that is shown on television Mm -hmm. about, you know, who we are, what we are, whatever, you come from a great line. So you walk with pride. You walk and stand with, you know, being great. You walk with your chin up, your chest out, and you get out here and do it. No, and so that's really what that book is about. And it's really not just for kids, even though it's drawn in that kid format. It's for even grown men. I didn't have grown men come to me and be like, man, I almost man, you know, real, shed a tear about it. Let, man, let's keep it real, man. There's grown men up here out there who probably mm-hmm. have an elementary school education. True. As far True. as reading. True. That's, you know, that was one of the byproducts of the great things that happened with me making these books. I have um, colleagues of mine that help um, kids like special education. I'm talking about older, like 14, 15. Uh-huh. And then I have colleagues of mine that help people get their GEDs and learn how to read. They've shown me the reading progress that they had um, getting better from reading my books and getting their GEDs and stuff like that. That like that helped me out. Like as far as in the thing of, okay, I know what I'm doing. Um, it, it, it was great, you know what I'm saying. Just watching that whole whole thing uh, pan out. So I just um, um, I, I appreciate the whole thing. You all you all can get it at a uh, bbbooks.com. That's b e e b e e b o o k s dot com to get these books, man. Oh sheesh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, good lord. <laughs> just talking about her. Right? Yeah, 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 we was. Man. Hey, okay, man. You know what though? What I like about this is. Going from a, a, a hip hop artist, mm-hmm. you basically went from a traded in the CDs, uh-huh. the books. Yeah. Now we in that. Now you know what's going on with the hip hop industry right now. Mm-hmm. Man. Like people, you know, they're people still buy physicals. Yeah. To an extent, but it's more about streaming. Yeah. Have you been going through that same issue with the the books? Like, is it how 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 do you make your money off people with it, you know if they find it online? Well, um, is there like reading streaming? I have, uh, I have digital copies that people can purchase. Okay, you get what I'm saying. And okay. um, if you do, uh, they are on Amazon. So if okay. you have that Amazon Prime feature to where you can read on your Nook and your Kindles and things of that nature, you will be able to look at these. And you know, I still, it's still a streaming thing. But the great thing about the book industry is, uh-huh. people like physical copies. That's okay. the dopest thing about the book industry that I can still keep uh, transfer that guerrilla marketing, the CDs out of the trunk mentality, and just have my books available. You get what I'm saying? Like that's that's and so it's it's an easy, it's a smooth transition for me. I'm 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 real, you know. I'm real happy that that transition was okay. that, and I can you know stay um, that's, within that. Yeah, that 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 really is dope. Like, do they ever see? So are you in stores then too? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm can't like, talk about prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't talk yeah, about prices. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you, you know. Um, those. let's see. Outside of the Amazon, I am um, Barnes and Noble. Okay. Um, I am in. I'm working on a couple things with a couple of vendors right now, as far as other stores. But the main store that I'm at right now is Barnes and Noble, as far as physical copies, and that that's. Super dope for me, you know what I'm saying, and I'm thinking that it's there. I'm working on something right now that possibly will get me into the scholastic field. So if you remember the book fairs and all of that, yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm working on it right now. So man. hopefully that pans out into you, the way that you, it needs to be. Oh. Yeah, man. So you 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 man, I forgot all about tough stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. So there's a whole new, it's a whole new lane for you, man. Are you enjoying it? Oh man, you know what? To watch, it's 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 more or less about the 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 so-called accolades and all of that. Mm-hmm. It's really about really just watching these kids enjoy this stuff and watching grown people enjoy and see. And you know, like I have a a Spanish version of the See That BB book, right? 
Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I have a Spanish version of it to where, like, somebody was just telling me the other day, like, I'm, I took both books and it's helping me actually learn Spanish. It's helping me, you know? So I'm like, yo, that's, that's was that, dope. Was that your idea to yeah, do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. I'm a hustler. So by all means, I'm going to make sure that I get it. You get what I'm saying yeah. as far as that goes? But it, it's just, I want, I, me, myself, I want to uh, learn more about uh the spanish side like this is the spanish book right here so you know okay yeah so you get those books side Damn. to side and you read you know together you're gonna be learning you know how to do it uh. so yeah yeah so with that it's all about um uh spreading spanning out and spreading to a larger uh market base that, that's all it is for me that that that, that that's dope yeah like you definitely did Man, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah. Didn't even like. You know who was one of my inspirations for doing the Spanish book? Who? Cardi B. Keep in mind, like she did like 50, 11 versions of Bodeg Yellow. You know what I'm saying? So when it came out, she did wind up doing the Spanish book. I was like, oh, that was smart because most of the world speaks Spanish instead of right. English or any other thing. They speak Spanish, so you gonna get that 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 wave of streaming money? Yeah. I want some of that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you, like, you, you you sitting at the house with the with boxes in your basement? Are you shipping these out? Or is this, this kind of like with CD Baby, like I do with CD Baby, I send them, like, a few copies at a time, and they mail them off. As Both. People order them. No, okay. I, do, I do it all. Like, okay. I, like, I want to be a part of every product. Uh, the process, process the of everything. You from get what the, I'm saying? From the, from the actual yeah, beginning of the writing, yeah, the drawing yeah, of the stuff, yeah, all the way to yeah. the final product and how it's being distributed. I guess it's because of, like, you know, me coming from the music side of things. Right. I don't... And, and, and and really being the person that was, had to be hands on because they didn't have the budget at first. Right. I that, learned how to do more. Right, right. I was about that. to say, yeah. like, you was definitely one of those people who... I always like you was doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You always had something going something. on. Something. Yeah. Like you always had a video camera in your hand every time I saw you with yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's also when when I found out that you actually rapped and stuff mm -hmm. that like kind of threw me off. But I was like, no, oh, I was with a video camera, man. I yeah, didn't yeah. That. But that that was my way of getting in the door and talking to people though. Right. The camera. It was other things that right. I was doing to accent my music. Like prime example, um, the reason why I do all of these other things was because. Uh, at the particular time, I was too cheap to pay for anything, so I learned how to do it myself. And they, like the graphic design jobs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? That was back in the day. It was what yeah, when Photoshop first started. You know, people was charging like two, three hundred dollars for right, a right, 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 right. I right. said, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna learn how to right, do. You're not about. Design. You're not about to break me. <laughs> it break me like. It, yeah, and then I found out it. It. Um. It's two things that you're gonna pay by. You either gonna pay. You're gonna pay with time. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather pay with the time and learn how to do that. And then once I get this machine working and how I want to by myself, I can honestly tell workers or employees yeah, how to do can, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, you can allocate the business. There. Exactly. And that's also too. And then you also know you can tell somebody, like, nah, bro, you can't play me, man. Let me exactly. Show you. exactly. They might not know you already know how to exactly. do artwork. Exactly. Here, hey, bro, this is my type it's of work I do on my own. On so my own. Don't sit yeah. here and try to play don't me. Don't try to play me. Exactly. So that's why, you know, I want to take a, have a hands-on approach just to make sure everything is running right. Because at the end of the day, for me, once I stop doing this, this passes down to my kids. You get what I'm saying? Right. And we so, were just talking about that. I was letting you know how I run my yeah, music label. Yeah. Legacy. That's what it's about for me. This is legacy at the end of the day. So my question. All right. Mm-hmm. Who is BB? And how did you come up with BB? Okay, Because I'm holding two books. With Petey, <laughs> is she a series that you're doing? Like, yeah, that's you know, what you had a series. Yeah, that's a you series. know, like I don't know about you. I grew up with the Bernstein Bears. Exactly. So with that, yeah, I grew up with <laughs> mom and papa, brother and sister. Yeah, that was, <laughs> but BB is um, the inspiration is my daughter. Okay. BB is she's BB. You know what I'm saying? That's the initials. Okay. They're her actual initials. Okay. Okay. You got, you, what I'm got saying? you. Got you. Got you. And that's what we call her. So it's BB. But um. I wanted to draw like these these characters for someone for her to have something to identify with, like you know, like with with um, hey, this right here. Man, this her dog. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, man, mm -hmm. I definitely what I like more than anything, dude, is what a lot of people don't realize. 
lot of black people just want more, yo, our image. Like, that's her thing. Aw. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's her. You, you, you guys want to see a positive image of black people. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, like, a lot of people, like, you know, a lot of people don't realize my sister was shot by a black man. See? So for me to walk around to think every black man is like that, it would exactly. be ignorant. Exactly, exactly. That'd be completely ignorant and exactly. stupid. And I know better. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got too many friends exactly. that are black men That's what I'm saying. that are stand-up fatherly Man, they're about their kid just yeah, as much yeah, as I'm about yeah, my dad. Exactly, exactly, so, yeah, exactly. Like, definitely need more positive. And that, you know what? And to, to veer back off on this, that's what this book is about. You get what I'm saying? Like, in spite of the stereotypical nonsense that is uh, portrayed on TV, on the news all the time, whether we are we are killers or we can shoot a ball real good or we can run real fast right. and all of that so nonsense, right? Or we can make you dance, laugh, and all of that. You know, we come from, yeah, this we are more than that. You know what I'm saying? So that's mm -hmm. why I that was the main motivation uh with that to give to my stepson to show him like, yo, you can do whatever you want to do, man. Right. I'm like, you you don't come from this, but I come from North St. Louis, like the gang wars of the nineties where you were my favorite color was black because <laughs> it had to be. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a thing of Oh, I didn't like red or I didn't like blue. But if I cross this street, I stayed in between two hoods. So if you cross this street with this blue hat on, you can get shot in your face. You get shot, you, you can get shot over here for wearing this red hat. You get what I'm saying? Right. So that's why I always clung to that. You don't come from that. But you can see all of this great stuff that comes from uh, the defying the odds and doing all that. That's yeah. That's where that come from. Man. So how long? How long did it take you to create? How long does it usually take you to create a, a, a book? And you know what's funny? Um, I can approach this like I used to approach an album. Um, like I'll sit up and think about the concepts, like how I want to do it. You know, I'm more methodical when it comes to okay. the whole process and packaging of it first and the thinking process. So when it comes to the, the actual work, I already know what I want to do. Uh, the songs that I want to write or this right. I want to do you know so it'll take me like for the books I can make a book honestly in two weeks I can make the book in two weeks so with that you know that's how I was with, with albums like but that's after the full thinking process then already took place and all of that you get what I'm saying so yeah it's it's, it's, it's fairly easy also I want to tell people, you know, um, come come talk to me. I am helping people create their own books and their own visions and however you want to do it and helping you get your own publishing company. Mm. Like, I want to teach people how to how to fish instead of just putting them under something. You get right. what I'm saying? Right. I, I, would, that's, I, I definitely want to help people more with that instead of just, oh, yeah, you're my artist under a label. And all. No. Live. Get your own money. Definitely, yeah. Definitely get your own money. <laughs> Definitely get your own money, man. So, what are any of these books that were the best seller? On that oh yeah, no. Clean Up BB was the best seller. That's actually and the you, first draft copy that you was holding. It's like okay. the first one ever printed so, out. Quick yeah. question: What do they mean by best seller? What does that mean? Like um, you know, I sold, sold a million I, records. I, I saw, yeah, yeah. Uh, I sold. I sold more than um, everybody at this particular time period. Yeah, I sold more than, you know, everybody at that time period. That's really what that is. Huh. It's just like on, you know, on the, um, the the Billboard charts, you got that number one streaming single or that number one streaming song and all mm -hmm. of that at that particular time. That's what that basically means. And now I hold, I can hold that under my belt and say, yeah, this is what I got. You know, like how 6 uh, 9 used to brag all the time and be like, yeah, I got this number, I made the billboard chart for this. I made the billboard chart, I made the billboard chart for that. You get what I'm saying? Right. Same thing. Same thing. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Was it a surprise? Like, yeah, you shot? no, listen. I, you know what, if you go to my Instagram at Poncho Rucker, you will see when, um, when I actually seen that I made the list. You get what I'm saying? You will see when I made the list. I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, I was... I come from the world of selling out of the trunk. Right. You get what I'm saying? So coming from the world of selling out of the trunk, I'm not tripping off of numbers. I'm tripping off of numbers. You get what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> so, 
some, you know, when I went to go just look at stats because I'm trying, okay, where can I promote more to? Where can I do this? My analytics, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the analytics and it said, that's, uh, you know what I'm saying, you made the position in this list. Word? Hold on, let me go look. I go look, scroll. I recorded, you know, after I said word, and you know, I recorded that part. I'm like, hold on. I made, thank, I was grateful. Like, I was, I was extremely surprised. You know what I'm saying? A little, you know, for me, a Northside kid, you know, from St. Louis that made this list right. out of, like, you know how many millions of books are released a day <laughs> and for me to make that list? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, is it, like, what's a good year for a book to sell? Like, a thousand copies? Two thousand copies? It depends. Ten million? It depends. It depends. Okay. Um, I don't know how everybody's numbers do and put to, you know, mm -hmm. um, certain uh, factors. Mine were good. You know what I'm saying? Like, mine were, were, were um, yeah, mine was love. I was, I was happy with it. You get what I'm saying? So, um, but let's just say I sell, in these books, I sell more than some rappers that claim that they are getting money. Right. And I own my company. Right. So yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it that way. Man, that's the. So say that. Uh, been in book fairs. I'm starting to get into that scene now. Like I said, I, I approach this like I would like a rapper. I approach so this and like, they have Trump. like book conferences. Yeah, no, all. they have, it's a whole man. Listen, it's a whole thriving world. You even have like so, so it's a whole industry. Just yeah. like you just, even have book groupies, bro. Like it's that crazy. You know, I stay groupies. I stay away from it, but I'm like, oh, I recognize the type of person you are. This is the type of thing that was over here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a whole thriving living organism, bro. <laughs> It's crazy, like the whole thing, and that except for now, <laughs> you deal with like um, moms and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with the parents, you know, or, or the teachers, or you know, the people that's revolved around that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, with with that, I'm just. Um, I'm shocked at the whole industry. I mean, it's the, it's the same it's the same as the music. I think I really right. think that just switched this prepared it. me. Yeah, no, I just all I did was make a lateral move, made a lateral move that was better for me right now. Right. Yeah. That's it. That's dope. Like you got books, bro. Yeah. Books. Yeah. 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 I got um. So what's what you thought about like eventually being having your books in the library? I'm working on that right now. Okay. I'm working on that right now. Like right now to get them in um every library the same I'm gonna say Man, like is there shows like reading rainbow around anymore and anything like that, that I, can... no no you know what <laughs> i mean yeah. impossible yeah. to make a reading yeah. rainbow. Hey. hey straight up because there aren't any um i guess really the 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 internet kind of took over with a lot of those but i don't think there is a popular um a uh, popular thing for that at all yet yeah, like no, that's something that needs Ooh. to happen. Yeah, y'all heard it first here. I think we, I think we, y'all heard it first here, straight up. <laughs> y'all heard it first here, like that's, that's Everybody that's, takes some stuff, man. Just to let you know, man. Oh no, pen, uh, patent pen. <laughs> oh no, no, we're from St. Louis, <laughs> man. Right, we'll right. take it the other right. way. So right, sure. right, right. Anyway, <laughs> but man, like. This is mind blowing. Like I said, you hit me up. You know, I definitely didn't expect. You know, when you hit me up, I definitely was like, okay, dude, about to send me some music. Uh oh. But then it was like you talking books. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And I definitely, you know, shout out to my girl Jasmine Elite, uh, Elite mm -hmm. Brandon Media. Yes, uh, shout out to Jazz. She uh, she definitely is on was on some. Man, I don't you know because I was talking to her like we were talking before. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was getting bored with just constantly having. Hip hop or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she was like, well, so you know, stop bringing these other type of people in. She's yeah. Like, you, you, you're not, she was like, you're an outlet. You're one of the few spots that these people might not ever be on FM airwaves, period. True, true. So, you know, I, I kind of took that to the heart. She, she caught me in a soft point. She found a weak link. Yeah, no, no, but that's but, that's the truth. But, but it's definitely, I've definitely enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm definitely, like, yeah. this is cool. Like, yeah, like, um, this, this definitely, I, I, I definitely think it's needed. 
Oh, definitely. Definitely. As far as just even to see, you don't have to be, uh, oh, you're not good at sports. You still have an outlet. Use your brain. Like, I, I want to say it was uh, my freshman year in college. Uh -huh. I was having a hard time getting my schedule because I played baseball. Oh, okay, okay. And, what uh, position? I was middle infield. Okay. This is shortstop, second base. Yeah. I got you. And, uh, you know, boom, this class I had to have, it was at this time, but I was just like, man, that's during practice time as yeah, well as boy. games. Yeah, boy, the electives. And, and then my, my counselor told me to stand up. <laughs> and he was like, man, he's like, you ain't six foot. He's like, I'm guessing you're nowhere near 200 pounds. He was like, what you, he's like, do you really think you're going to make money off your body or are you going to make money off your mind, man? Yeah, and that's, that's and, real. And, and that, 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 it was like, it, yeah. that, it was like, yeah, I don't really like too many of my teammates anyway, so. You know? Yeah, yeah, let me go ahead and just utilize this for what it is right. and do what I need to do. No, that's right. real. So, that's yeah, real. it was definitely something like that, man. So, you could, you, you don't have to be a great athlete. You don't have to know how to make music. You don't even have to. But with the, that's that's the spirit of hip hop, though. We, you know, you you use your mind to really do something mm -hmm. and and grow it out. And, you know, and then even in the field of hip hop, you don't have to, you don't have to even rap. You know what I'm saying? The people behind the scenes make the most money anyway. You get what I'm saying? So this is that this is the same spirit of that hip hop culture that I was born from, taking nothing. And then and, and turning it into a tangible good. It's a thing right. there and getting out here and pressing it and pushing it. And it's helping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, then, and it's not. And it's brand. helping. Yeah, man. Yeah. Because, like, how much have you had to learn about, like, the literacy rate in, in the state of Missouri, the state of okay. the city of St. Louis, the county Let's, of St. Louis? Let's talk Saturday. about it. Um, the average American has a third grade education. The average American, I'm speaking of adults all the way down to babies, the average American has a third grade education. That's sad. Yeah. And it's... No wonder they, the, the rest of the world just treats us like a consumer market. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, we, we you know, we, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's not, it's, it's discouraging to say the least. That, yeah, that's um, like, along I, with the eighth, uh, the, I'm sorry, the eight second attention span that the average American has. Oh my god. Yeah. So, you know, we need small books like this. Or I even made a small motor uh, two motivational quote books called Note to Self. Mm -hmm. Um that is basically um for like the meme level. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's it's real big print, real quick. And it's it's you know what I'm saying? Like okay. matter of fact, yeah, like it's 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 those type of things that that um we have. Like here they go right here. Like we have, you know what I'm saying? Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. That that we need, you know what I'm saying? Even if like for these, they're the goofy as hell. Um, uh, okay, I'm sorry, they're goofy, but um, we can, you know, you can you can take it and take something from it, and some of those proceeds go to um, a friend of mine who passed. He did all of the illustrations. In it. Um, he died of a heroin overdose, mm. so it goes to his his uh, daughter. You know, whenever okay. those gets old. So, yeah. Okay. Nope, to sell. Yeah. Man, what is this picture, man? This is a strong, so, precious picture right here on this. I'm trolling. That picture has nothing to do with anything. Like, <laughs> we went to a, my, my, my grandmother's boyfriend. My grandmother's boyfriend was chief of police over there. So I took a picture, and then that's just what it was. Yeah, that's me. That's eight years old. Ah. Yeah, that has that picture, or it was an eight or seven. Either way, that picture has nothing to do with anything wow. matter of fact that was the box curl so that was six i was six years old 91 yeah okay yeah so that's that's what i'm saying with that you know it's like i wanted to create something to make people laugh and then catch people eye and then just make them think and motivate them to um be what they want to be you know that's that was the whole point of the reason why i got into hip-hop to begin with you know what i'm saying or, or music to begin with was to help people and, and show them like yo you're not the only person going through this so uh, put that put that baggage down and do something great right yeah dude hey before i let you go mm -hmm. here's play man we're gonna get off the subject of the book because mm -hmm. you did something <laughs> a couple years ago it's probably been a couple oh man 
I think you, I know what you're gonna ask. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The fake homeless guy. Okay. <laughs> Man, when I mean you put that dude on blast, like how many people was like, yo, I've seen dude before. I've seen dude like I seen the dude before. So for you to So here's the backstory. Catch that dude it. coming out of his house. No, he wasn't coming out of his house. Okay, here's the backstory. All right, go ahead, man. I know dude. Okay. I'm not going to say his name and nothing like that, right? Okay. He's from the area of where my family uh, is. Or he's over there all the time. Yeah. So I told him, I don't even know if he remembers or not. I said, man, you got all of this stuff. You got a car, place to stay, the whole wop. Like, you're not homeless and you just doing this to help something else. And you conning people. You kind of people horribly. You keep doing it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to expose you. Oh man, you tripping? You know, ooh, I'll be talking, you know. But he's not going to do anything, you know. So whatever. I see him again. He's hollering at a uh, a partner of mine for something else. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was sitting on the porch with one of my best friends. My home, my home girl Tierra. I'm like Tierra. Look, there go old boy right there. You remember I was telling you that he be limping and stuff, fake hunched over and all of that. I'm like, yeah, he walking good as all get up now, ain't he? <laughs> it's like, yeah. I was like, let me. I said I was gonna bring out my phone. I had my phone right by my side, just porch watching, cause that's what we did. Recorded that, and it went everywhere. I, I wasn't even expecting it to go like that. Just to. To, to go just you know that it, way. But at the end of the day, man, it's like people like that are really like y'all stepping on the toes of like some real like people that uh, need help for real. real. For real. And as you know, and what's funny is is I see the people that need help all the time. I got a nonprofit called Team Rehab. Me and my other friend Jen, we run uh, the nonprofit. And she does uh the uh, unhoused uh, outreach. I do more on the the event side and stuff like that. Like we have an event coming up May the third um, uh, at a trauma center on the on Del Mar and Hamilton. I, I'll come back and give you the information for it as far as that that we're working on right now, and we're working on a Father's Day picnic with my big brother uh, Rob right now. As far as it's gonna have a lot of resources and different stuff to reach people. But I digress. He. There, there are a lot of people that really need help. They have mental illnesses and they, they like out here bad. I've seen people that have kids and stuff that's out here in the middle of winter and gave them coats and clothes and stuff. And then she, Jen, like is out there just going nuts by herself. She'll be out there by herself helping these people in all types of conditions. You know what I'm saying? And for you to come over here knowing that you have family that love you because these that family hit me up was kind of uh at first going off on me until i was like you know telling them like this ain't about that this is about what he's doing is not being helpful if y'all want to help him get him to a rehab or get him to here or get him right. to there you know what i'm saying y'all looking at it like uh, y'all looking not, at it like y'all exposing it it's not cool it's not cool or whatever they no, was even, telling me that but not, even but Y'all helping him by not helping him. And en enabling him. Exactly. That's what I'm looking for. Y'all just looking at it like, well, the money ain't coming out of our pocket. Exactly. So we're not worried about exactly. it. Exactly. And then they probably even give him money. So, but my point was saying is, is that there are people that really, really, really need help. I get inboxes from people all the time saying, can we help? Can, can you help me? Can you do this? Can you do that? We've paid bills for people. We've done this for people. You know, it's a lot of things that we have touched on. And you are out here faking like that? No, nah, man. You need to be exposed. And if people give after that, then so be it. That's their, their, that's their choice to do so. But know the truth that this person is a slime ball. Right. Yeah. Hey, before we let you go. Mm-hmm. Tell everybody your social media. Um, you can hit me up everywhere at Poncho Rucker. That's P A N C H O R U C K E R. Um, or on YouTube, Poncho Rucker 314. And the website to purchase uh, the children's books is um, bbbooks.com. That's www.bebeebooks.com. -E 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 and you can uh, get them on Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble, and all of those things where books are sold. Yeah, out the Woodworks Radio, man. I'll be right back, man. Me and Poncho, gonna go do the picture thing and all that goodness, man. South the Woodworks Radio. Yes, sir. Hey, hold on, one. I got it.
Why do that? I gotta be chopped down. I'm over here all over the place. <laughs> Good for you. Kicks the man. 89.5. Get the girl. You ready to do a mix, play? No, why you doing it? We'll mix it for about 15 minutes. No way. No one ready. KCFE Ferguson. Damn, it feels good to be back. Go ahead. All right, so that was the interview, man. Um, I'll be hitting all y'all up in a little second, man. Let me get get back to work. All right, y'all, we out.